So I have to have a credibility statement? You got it. I hope you guys know you have to have a credibility okay, statement. Okay, sorry. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yes. Okay, hi everybody. My name is Emily Young. Um, I'm going to be giving a speech on bullying. Um, I am credible in this area because I've done extensive research on it and as well as witnessed um, acts of bullying being performed. Um, in this speech, I am going to share information on bullying and how it, and how it affects an individual um, as well as what causes bullying. Uh, first, I will discuss traditional bullying and cyberbullying and how the two overlap. Next, I will discuss causes of bullying, and last, I will discuss influences of bullying behavior. Traditional bullying is likely to be considered as a form of intentional infliction of distress or harm on another individual involving physical, verbal, or social abuse. Previous decades of bullying were known as being performed more on public settings like in schools or on playgrounds um, where the victim and the bully were um, both present. With the new age of technology, bullying has progressed into another form through social media known as cyberbullying. This is, um, this is a little bit different from traditional bullying because with cyberbullying, the bully is able to be anonymous um, in most cases, and that that can cause higher levels of distress for the victim because they have little to no control over what is being said or done to them. Different ways to act out um, bullying include vi physical violence, name calling, social alienation, or spreading rumors. According to William Jurger and Cliff Garrett. In general, victims tend to be anxious, careful, and insecure, insecure compared to um, other students who are not bullied. According to Jing Wang in an article for the Journal of Adolescent, boys were more likely to be physical and verbal, um, and they were also more likely to be cyber bullies, whereas girls were more likely to be relational uh, involved in relational bullying, and they were more likely to be the cyber victims. Now that I've discussed um, traditional bullying and uh, cyber bullying, I will discuss the causes of bullying. One major influence, um, influential factor in children modeling aggressive or aggressive behavior or bullying is their family. Their family is very important because if a family models aggressive or negative relationships, um, the child will most likely enact that out elsewhere. According to Jurger and Garrett, the family has an enormous impact on youth bullying behavior. Bullies suffer more from family problems than other students who are not bullied. When parents model unhealthy or negative relationships, this can in influence their children to act that way. Other factors that can um, influence children to be bullies would be things like popularity, um, even though I hate that word, uh, insecurities in themselves or peer recognition or how their peers see them. Now that I've discussed causes of bullying, I am going to discuss the effects. In an article about bullying in school and cyberspace by Sonia Heron, <coughs> Negative peer relations like lack of acceptance and peer victimization are associated with depressive like symptoms. Um, when, um, when this happens, um, this can lead to depression to continue, um, and in most cases, unfortunately, it can lead to suicide. Adolescents that have become victims um, have been known to. Um, show symptoms like being involved in alcohol consumption, smoking, and even poor academic performance. In conclusion, the purpose of the speech was to share information on bullying and explain its effects on individuals. I first discussed um, traditional bullying and cyberbullying and how the two overlap, and next I discussed the causes of bullying, and last I discussed effects of bullying. Um, and I wanted to leave with a, a quote from Dr. Seuss. Um,
be yourself because those who matter don't mind and those who mind don't matter. Thank you.